New York City, a bustling metropolis suddenly brought to its knees, but not by a natural disaster, rather by a legal dispute that sparked a trucker boycott. In the heart of this conflict, we find a civil fraud judgment against a man who needs no introduction, Donald Trump. The ripples of this legal decision quickly spread, not just within the courtroom walls, but far beyond, reaching Chicago Ray. A prominent figure in the trucking industry, Ray's call to action was a simple one, a delivery boycott to New York City. The truckers, the unsung heroes of our everyday life found themselves at the forefront of this battle. They are the lifeblood of the supply chain, the invisible force that keeps the wheels of our economy turning. And yet, they are so often overlooked, their voices unheard. But not this time. This time they were not just delivering goods, they were delivering a message. A message of solidarity, of resistance, of discontent with a judgment they deemed unjust. Their trucks, usually a symbol of relentless movement and progress, became vessels of protest. Their silence on the roads echoed louder than any engine's roar, reverberating across the nation, reaching the ears of those who usually remain indifferent. A call to arms on the highways, a call that many would answer, setting the stage for a protest unlike any before. Yet the story takes a turn. Despite Ray retracting his call, a wave of support surges, changing the narrative. This isn't just about a single civil fraud judgment anymore, it's about perceived injustice. It's about a collective voice rising to say, we stand with you. It's a voice that calls out from behind the wheel of 18-wheelers and from the keyboards of thousands, resonating within the hearts of fellow supporters. Platforms like GoFundMe become the digital megaphones, amplifying this voice, organizing support, pooling resources. They're not just backing Ray or one judgment, they're rallying around a cause, around a shared belief, a shared sense of justice. It's a testament to the power of unity, to the power of shared conviction. This is the power of the people, the power of a dynamic shift in message, a message once retracted, now amplified, stirring the hearts of truckers, echoing across the nation. Silence can be deafening, particularly when it comes from the lifeblood of our supply chains, our truckers. Imagine the bustling highways quiet, the rumbling engines stilled, the trucks parked in silent protest. This was not just a boycott. It was a potent demonstration of unity, a show of strength from the very individuals who keep the wheels of our nation turning. These truckers, the backbone of our supply chains, chose silence over service, expressing their discontent with the status quo and their support for a figure they believe in, Donald Trump. Their parked trucks became symbols of resistance, their silence a megaphone for their dissent. The power of this protest lies not in the disruption caused, but in the solidarity showcased. It highlights the often overlooked significance of truckers in our society and their potential to drive change. A silent highway, a loud message, a testament to the power of unity, the power of truckers. But every action has a reaction, and the truckers' boycott was no exception. The bustling highways of New York City turned into deserted landscapes as the rumble of engines and the clatter of cargo gave way to an eerie silence. The once constant flow of goods and supplies slowed to a trickle as freight traffic rerouted to alternate destinations. Tennessee, among others, suddenly found itself in the unexpected role of a logistical hub, its roads and warehouses strained under the influx of diverted traffic. This unprecedented shift in transportation dynamics raised concerns about the future of supply chains. The boycott was a stark reminder of the essential role truckers play in keeping the pulse of our nation's economy beating. It highlighted the vulnerability of our supply chains and the potential for disruption when the wheels of these big rigs stop turning. The logistical repercussions of the boycott were not limited to New York City. They rippled across the country, affecting businesses, consumers, and even other sectors of the economy. The sudden change in freight routes and schedules forced companies to adapt on the fly, testing their resilience and strategic planning. This episode served as a wake-up call for many. It underscored the need for more robust and diverse transportation networks, capable of withstanding such disruptions and ensuring the uninterrupted flow of goods and services. A city's lifeblood rerouted, a ripple effect felt far and wide, a stark reminder of the interconnected fabric of our nation. But this was not just about logistics, it was about politics a collision of two worlds that would have far-reaching implications. In the midst of the New York City trucker boycott, political ramifications started to emerge, 
casting a long shadow that extended far beyond the city's boundaries. The boycott was not only a powerful protest by essential workers, but also a manifestation of broader dissatisfaction with the status quo. The removal of Trump's name from the Illinois primary ballot served as a spark, igniting a fire that was already smoldering. This action was viewed by many as an affront, an unjust maneuver that sought to silence the voices of those who had chosen to rally behind Trump. It was a move that was met not with silence, but with an intensified response from the trucking community. The truckers, who had already demonstrated their might by halting deliveries to New York City, pledged to extend their boycott. They vowed to stop deliveries to any state involved in similar actions against Trump, signaling their commitment to their cause and their readiness to make their voices heard. This pledge hinted at the potential for a broader movement, one that could extend across state lines and impact supply chains nationwide. It was a clear message to the political establishment. The truckers were not just delivering goods, they were delivering a message, a statement of their political beliefs and their willingness to stand up for what they believe in. The trucker boycott in New York City was more than just a disruption of logistics. It was a political statement, a demonstration of the power of collective action. It was a reminder that the everyday people who keep our country running also have a voice, a voice that can echo across highways and reach the corridors of power. The wheels of the trucks may have stopped, but the wheels of change were put into motion, a movement that may just be beginning.